Hi everyone, welcome on in. Today we're just doing a cozy Target haul. I have a lot to share with you. We got some like skincare and hair care things, some accessories, a lot of clothing, and some makeup items as well. I also want to share with you guys towards the end of the video what we're giving our four year old Genevieve for Halloween. No, not Halloween. Ooh, Jesse. <laughs> Valentine's Day, just some cutesy little things, and then also some like kids clothing stuff. So I'll show you that at the end in case you wanna click off if you're not interested in that, I totally understand. So let's dive in. I've had like only half a cup of coffee and it's like 12.30 at this point, so this this coffee is, is hitting, you know? So let's start with, um, I'm setting my coffee on my humidifier. This is dangerous territory. Let's start with uh, this purple ginseng cleansing balm. So this is from the brand Naturium. You can get it at Target and I think in other places too, but Target's like the big retailer. I know you can get it. I have tried their like cleansing oil or no, no. It was a cleansing balm, but it was like in a squeezy tube, their camellia stuff. I did not like that stuff. So I'm, I've heard this is actually the better cleansing balm that they sell. So I'm excited to give it a try. I gotta hand it to Naturium, Naturia, I don't have to say it. Um, because I feel like their packaging is always really pretty. Like, isn't that just simple, but pretty? And they have like different colors on everything. I don't know, there's something about it I really like. But I'm excited to give this a try. I am just about out of my Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm, which I really, really like. I'm going to repurchase, but you know, given what I do here on YouTube trying things, I like to try new things too, but that stuff is amazing. It's like, around 10 bucks uh, would highly recommend to remove your makeup. This Andrea Renee got me onto, I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but she's the reason I bought it. It's the Urban Skin RX Even Tone Cleansing Bar. I think they had a couple cleansing bars. I think that's what, this is the one she was recommending. It says, this is so interesting. It says you moisten the enclosed sponge with warm water and apply to the bar to create a creamy lather. You can put it on to, oh, is it for your face? I wanted it for my body. <laughs> Can I use it on my body? I, <laughs> that's how I thought she was using it. Maybe you're only supposed to use it <laughs> for your face. I might look more into this because I genuinely, I was all excited about it like toning the body. So, I mean, I'll totally use it on the face too, but yeah, we're gonna try. But it's got azelaic acid, kojic acid, niacinamide, and a couple other things um, that are supposed to help with uneven skin tone. It says it targets dark marks and brightened skin. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. Maybe I will just use it on my face. I'm gonna look into this a little deeper and see if, I mean, undoubtedly, if you can use it on your face, you could use it on your body. Cause I feel like the face skin is more sensitive. But anyway, yeah, all right, well, we'll just see. I should have listened closer to how she described her using it. I don't know why I assumed the whole body. Anyway, next up was a repurchase. I am so excited to own this again. It is my favorite. I think it is my favorite hair mask. I have a couple faves. I think this one takes the cake. It's drugstore price. It's from Shea Moisture. It's their intensive hydration hair mask. They have a few. This is the one I love. Not only do I feel like it totally, sorry, I like spit on myself. I applied this a while ago. Does it look okay? Anyway. Not only does it just moisturize your hair, I feel like especially like the ends of your hair feel so healthy when you use it, but it smells amazing. We're just gonna open it. I've been using one from the Frenchie brand at, ooh, oh my gosh, it smells so good, um, at Target and it smells good. I just don't think it's like the best hair mask. So it just smells unreal. I don't even know how to describe the smell, but it says it's got Manuka honey, Mafura oil, fig extract. It is truly a top tier hair mask. I absolutely love it. And I love that it is priced really well. So there you go. And I do notice a difference when I go through phases where I'm not using a hair mask. Since I haven't been enjoying that Frenchie one, I haven't been using it as much. And I feel like I do notice a difference in like the ends of my hair, especially, because I try to do a hair mask like once a, week and I just use it in place of my conditioner in the shower. You know what I mean? Before I get into makeup, I want to talk about this. This caught my eye because of the color. First of all, I love the velvet. It's kind of like a, what would you even call this color? It's kind of like a light teal or turquoise, whatever. It's a jewelry organizer like for travel. And so they had a few colors. I just thought this was so cute. I do well, obviously when I travel, I bring some jewelry with me, but the one I've been using has been working fine. It's about this size, but I, I always wish it had a little bit more, like it doesn't really have a space for necklaces. And so I feel like I always just kind of put them in there and they get tangled. So this has a couple of different things. It's got, um, I'm assuming these snap on and off. Yeah. It has these areas where you could put, you know, rings on if you wanted. I'm sure you could put bracelets if you wanted earrings. Um, and then in here, it's got this big open area for whatever you need, but it also has this that is separate that opens up. It's got this separate little pouch, which is probably where I would put either bracelets or like hoop earrings, you know, and then it has this that I can string my necklaces around and on, and they're not going to be getting 
all crazy and tangled as they always do. Um, and it's funny, usually when I travel with necklaces, they don't get tangled with each other. They get tangled with like earrings I have in there that somehow got like mixed in. So I'm excited. I love that this is useful, but also just really, really cute. So it was $15. I don't remember if I had a cartwheel deal that I clipped. I'm not, I don't remember. I just feel like this is definitely a little bit of an upgrade to what I was currently using. All right, makeup wise, I got too many shades of the e.l.f. O Face lipsticks because I have heard these are so amazing. The, even the cashier was like, oh, I like the way the packaging on this feels. I'm like, I know, these feel a lot like the NARS Audacious lipsticks. Let me swatch one for you. I, I kind of went crazy on colors because I was like, I just want to try a lot. <laughs> so this one, yeah, this feels like the NARS Audacious. It magnetizes shut, which is so nice. This is the shade Standing Ovation. Oh my gosh, these are so creamy. I'll go ahead and swatch all of these for you if you're just curious. Yeah, this is definitely packaging wise one of the nicest I've felt at the drugstore by a long shot. And in fact, this feels nicer than a lot of high-end lipsticks I have, you know? They're so more, these really do feel like the NARS Audacious formula. This is the shade, no doubt. Just like the NARS lipsticks, it even says like the elf name etched there, just like NARS does with theirs. That one is no regrets. That looks like the perfect blue toned red that I, like that is my favorite shade. And that is the shade Effortless. So kind of comparing here. So you can see those two are similar. This is Standing Ovation, that's Effortless. This is definitely, Effortless is definitely pinker. So if you were looking for a particular type shade, there are some options. But yeah, absolutely stunning. Really, really creamy. I can't wait to compare these to the NARS ones that I have. Other makeup stuff I picked up the revolution IRL filter finish so in real life filter finish I got the shade C5 here I'm just curious I haven't really heard a lot about it. I've heard a little bit about it from some of my fellow youtubers here but not a ton it does say it's a soft matte concealer I got C5 because I'm pretty sure that was the shade I had in the other revolution concealer I've tried so yeah, excited to give this a try. I also picked up the L'Oreal Prime Lab Pore Minimizer Primer. They had a couple different types of primers available and these just look newer to me. This one blurs pores, it looks smoother over time. They had like a redness reducing one, um, a dullness one, and then I think maybe one, maybe like oil control one. But I tend to, if I'm gonna put primer on, it, pore minimizing is what I would do. So I'm excited to give that one a try. I also picked up the Neutrogena Serum Foundation. Taylor Margaret or Drugstore Maven, I've heard her talk about this a bit, so I've been curious. This is what it looks like here. It's got like the dropper bottle. It is plastic, but yeah, I got Light O2. It says it's got sheer, natural, buildable coverage. We'll just see. And then I also got another e.l.f. Wow Brow in neutral brown. I repurchase it all the time. And then I want to swatch this. This is the NYX Glow Shot. It's like a cream shadow. I'm just intrigued. I got it in Grapefruit Glow and it just looks like the kind of color I would like on my eyes. It's definitely a thin formula, but that looks so pretty. So I'm excited. I'll give that one a try and let you guys know how I, how I like it. So yeah, lots of, lots of beauty items. I also grabbed another pack of the hair ties that I use for myself. I always say they feel like pantyhose because they're they're totally different than the kind of ponytails I grew up with. And these are such a game changer. They're, they, you guys just, it like when I'll put my hair up, which is daily for various things, it is one of the few that will actually hold it and keep it where I put it. It doesn't like slide down. Even in my daughter's really thin hair, I have started using these because they work so much better. So now when she's coming home from school, her hair is not like down here, it actually stayed where I put it. So these are amazing and they also don't really, you know how like when you'll put your hair in a ponytail and you'll get a headache because it'll pull on certain little hairs in just a way that you're just like, ah, oh, these don't do that. I have not noticed that with these. So they, this is just one example of them. You can honestly get them cheaper on Amazon um, in a larger pack so I can link that, but I was just there so I figured I'd grab them. All right. Let's talk clothing, okay? I feel like I need to preface this portion of the video because the fitting rooms are closed. So I was not able to try all of this on. So I bought way more than I would have had I been able to try it on. And I'm also filming this before having tried these on. So you're gonna see them in this video. You'll see me in these items. You'll see how they fit, etc. But while I'm sitting here talking to you, I actually don't know if I'm gonna keep or, or not. So. I will um, probably, I'll link everything I try on. So if maybe something I'm not keeping, you might be interested in, but just know that I some of these are gonna be returned. I might give like a thumbs up or thumbs down. Maybe that's what I'll do in the try on clips of these that you see. So you'll know whether I'm keeping or getting rid of. So 
let's dive in. So one of the things I was looking for were, was like activewear, sportswear, sports bras in particular, because all I had right now are like nursing ones. And I'm, I haven't been nursing for a few months. So it, it was time. It was absolutely time. So that let's just kind of start with those. So first of all, I am loving all of the colors that Target had out in their activewear. Like, look how beautiful this purple is. Are you kidding? This is like the prettiest shade of purple I think I've ever seen. So this was their All In Motion brand. I think most of this is. This is their Light Support Sculpt. So it supports, but I feel like it kind of like holds things in a little bit more too, especially in the back. It's got a little bit of an extended back. It's kind of strappy on the back, which I love. It has the pads that you can remove like most sports bras do. But yeah, I just, I love the wider band on the bottom. I love the color. It, this is just the style of sports bra I tend to go for. So I also got two of these looser workout tops. So for me, I like to do like YouTube dance workouts. I like to go on runs when the weather is decent. Um, and then I also do like, you know, like kettlebell type things or like, you know, like YouTube videos with weights, whatever. It's always a mixed bag and it's whatever I actually feel like doing. But I like to have looser, I don't know why I explained that for this, but I like to have looser shirts for that, especially for running. I don't like it to be form fitted because I need air. You know what I mean? Like I need a breeze. These are perfect. And I feel like it's been a couple years since I found shirts like this that I like. I'm like, why is everything fitted? I don't want <laughs> anyway. So this is again, the all in motion. Uh, I got medium I, I, pretty much across the board. I got medium, the sports bras, I got medium as well. I just, again, I loved this color. I love that it was a little bit looser, but not wildly loose. It's somewhat cropped because all of the leggings I'm wearing are super high waisted, you know, so these go well with it. So I got the pretty purple and I got white. I also got, I think all of these are that all in motion brand. They're light support flex. So it's got buttery soft fabric, very much a Lululemon type feel. It's like a sports bra shirt hybrid, right? Like it comes down, it really would meet right about where my leggings hit, but it really is more bra like. So it kind of depends on your comfort level. Like for me working out at home, I don't mind wearing just a sports bra or like this with leggings. But if I were in a gym, my comfort level, I'd probably have a shirt on over it. But again, that's too, that's that's on you. But again, I loved this like periwinkle color and the V on both sides and the like thick, thick band. And the fabric really is buttery soft. They nailed that description. All right, this is the one. And really, I think that other one too, but this is like the one that is 100% a Lululemon dupe. It is this, again, kind of like, it's a shirt, like a cropped shirt but it definitely, like I said, would hit right where your leggings would hit, but it's this higher rounded neck. That is, let me look up the exact thing it's duping because literally when I saw this on different people's like TikTok, Instagram, I was like, oh yeah, like 100%. I own a decent amount of Lululemon. I don't own this particular thing, but even from a fabric standpoint, it feels really similar. So let me see. I think even this one with the V-neck, by the way, I'm looking at this Lululemon one right here. Let me see if I that one right there, $68, that is 100% what this was duping. And then, yeah, there's the other one, the higher necked one. So again, both of these $68 at Target, they were 20. So even if it weren't an exact dupe, I mean, you're saving a lot of money to get the same type thing. So again, really wide band on the back. It's like kind of, there's like a seam, but then the front, there's no seam. It's got that kind of higher neck. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to try it. They had a lot of different colors. This is something that, I couldn't find online, but I could find it in stores and that's kind of what I'd heard. So I don't know if it's still not online. If it is online, I will go ahead and link it. And I'll of course link all of these in, in the order I mentioned them. So if you're not sure which sports bra is which, I'll go in order. Next thing I got, this is the kind of thing that I see a lot of my like Disney influencer friends wear in the parks when it's hot. Um, so I was curious to try it. It's kind of like a workout dress, tennis dress, whatever you would call it. And again, it was in the workout section. It's got that stretch to it but it has shorts built in. So that's kind of the whole thing is it looks like a little bit of a dress, but it's got the shorts built in, it's stretchy. I got white, I actually wanted black, but in store they didn't have the color, they didn't have black. I would want white as well, I think, but just with kids and stuff, you know, especially if we were wearing this in Disney. And I think I'd wear this in other places too, but just, that's kind of in my mind where I would be wearing it. So very excited to um, try that on. I wanna show you, this robe, okay? The neon pink I'm into. I feel like a lot of my YouTube friends are too. And it's in stores a lot. Like I got this set at Old Navy. It's like a little kind of knit 
tank top and it is cropped so again it hits like right where my leggings are right now but then the matching cardigan i'm listen this is my childhood style in style again and it is so exciting i'm like oh yeah i'm a pro this style i'm a pro at this is what i grew up with so i was very excited to see these like back in store so i'm loving the bright pink so i got this neon pink robe and it's super soft now I did get a new robe Tyler got me from Brooklinen for my birthday and I love it. It's like the waffle, feels like a spa robe. That's the robe I wear like right when I get out of the shower like and I'm trying to like do stuff or I'll even throw it on my clothes. This is something that I wear for other times. <laughs> I just think this is so pretty. I got the extra small, small. I was wishing they had like a small medium, but I didn't, I thought medium large. I, I wanted it to be, maybe be a little more fitted than not. I mean, it's a robe, it's not gonna be fitted, but this is just the prettiest brightest pink i couldn't pass it up i literally saw it and was like i absolutely have to have that all right now that i'm blushing so this dress i think some of you guys are gonna be like that's so cute and some of you guys would be like absolutely not jessica that is hideous it's just gonna be a mixed bag i think it's cute again i haven't tried it on maybe you'll be seeing the clip of me trying it on and i'm giving it a big thumbs down we'll see but this um, is like a midi dress. Is that? Yeah, because it kind of hits just a little below the knee. I love that length of dress. I just feel, especially when I'm dealing with kids and bending over and we're out and about in the spring and summer, it's a perfect length because it doesn't feel so long that it's dragging on the floor like a maxi dress, but it's not so short that I'm consistently like worried about bending over. Um, so I love the length. I think the pattern is really pretty too, the orange and the blue. It's kind of strappy, it's gathered at the waist, but then it flows out. So I'm hoping I like it because it looks like the kind of dress I would like. Um, and I like that it's a little bit thicker, so it's not gonna be necessarily see-through, so I don't have to worry about wearing something under it as well, you know? So I hope I like it. <laughs> it's gonna be the theme of this video. Hope I like it. <laughs> So now into just other shirts. So I was really looking for shirts. I wanted some just plain tops that I can dress up with jewelry. You know what I mean? That were kind of just simple, kind of that like clean girl look. And then I also got some fun tops. So it's, it's kind of a mix. So clean girl wise, uh, I got this top here. I don't know if this color will, it might look horrendous on me, but I was curious about the sleeves because they're kind of, you know, cut off right at the shoulder. But I thought that this color, I liked that it was looser and I thought it was, would look really cute with different colored jeans kind of tucked in at the front with like a longer necklace and hoops. I just thought it would be really pretty, really chic. So we'll see. I might hate the color. I might hate the cut. I guess we'll, we'll see. <laughs> this was kind of a repurchase. Again, that bright pink. I have a shirt just like this from Target. I've had for so many years and it is my favorite, but it is, it is like threadbare at this point and needs to be replaced. So when I saw it was the, a New Day brand, medium size, just plain crew neck tee, I went ahead and bought it because this is basically what I had. This feels a little bit thinner than that one did. So I definitely could see um, just wearing like a nude colored bra, whatever nude would be for you because I wouldn't want to necessarily have to wear a tank top under it, you know? Anyway, I'm just thinking out loud. Okay, this was a fun one. So this obviously this like checker pattern is super in style right now. And I loved the colors of this. But I'll be curious to see it on. You know what I mean? I love I love the colors though. It reminded me in a way though of high school. And not that this sweater style wasn't popular, but there's something about this that reminds me of high school and I don't know what it is. Let me know if you can think of what it was. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so we'll, we'll see. I don't always love when sweaters gather like this at the hip. I'm a lot wider in my hips. And so a lot of times when things hit there, it just doesn't look as flattering. So this was this was one that if the fitting rooms had been open, I would have been glad to be able to try on, you know? I also got a, a plain shirt, but I love this bright green. It's like really popular right now. This is just a new day, a simple long sleeve. I like that it has the like light ribbing to it as well. It looks like it might be slightly looser, not too tight, not too loose. So I figured that was perfect. And again, I wanna be able to just wear a cute necklace with it and cute earrings. I liked this kind of light bluish gray color as well. This shirt was similar to that one, but I, oh, that's right. I got XL in this. So I sized up a couple times cause it, it was cropped. And again, I wanted to be able to tuck the front in just a bit in some high-waisted jeans, but I also wanted it to be looser. So I just sized up cause for whatever reason, the sizing on this was kind of odd. It was a Universal Threads brand though. I also grabbed, thinking of like the knit um, kind of tank route, this one here, really similar to the Old Navy one I'm wearing. This was the A New Day brand, medium, it was 18 bucks. Just really cute. Again, will hit right where the jeans hit. 
Um, I was actually wanting to get a matching cardigan for this too, but they were out of this color. So I might look online and see because I just love this periwinkle blue. I mean, it's kind of like my nail color. And then this one, we'll see. I don't know. Again, this was a fitting room one that I was like, I wouldn't just buy it necessarily. But anyway, it was a cropped button up. Again, tucking it into like some light jeans. Wouldn't that be kind of cute? Rolling up the sleeves a bit. So it's the Universal Thread brand. I went ahead and got small um, just because it seemed wide enough to kind of be like loose like I was hoping for. So we'll see how that one goes. Those are all of the clothes. Hopefully I return half of them, like I said. So future Jesse popping back in. I just had lunch and I forgot because I was staring right at them. Two other things I got in the home decor section. This table runner and then this fake plant. I think they look so pretty together. It's just a little bit more updated than what I had there. And we have this area of our table that's all scraped up. And I love that the table runner kind of covers it. I ended up getting the 72 inch table runner. I think I should have gotten the 108 um, so that it would have run off the side, but it's at the point where I'm like, I've already ripped off the packaging. We're just gonna stick with this. I do need to steam it as well, but I just love the way that looks together. I think it looks so, so pretty. So I wanted to mention it if you were interested in the plant or the table runner, I'll link them both below too. Let's dive into what I'm gonna give Genevieve for Valentine's Day and then I'll show some of the kids clothes. Actually, let's do the kids clothes first because there's only a couple. These are actually for Felicity. She is 10 months, that's just crazy. So she'll be 12 months soon. She's kind of in that like between the nine month clothes and the 12 months. So I'm starting to buy some 12 month things. Look at this cute little matching outfit. It's just got stretchy shorts. <laughs> I can't help it, you guys. And it, it just looks so cute. I can't wait to see her little chunky arms in it. And then um, this top, gosh, it looked big though. But I'm like, she's getting bigger, Jess. She's getting bigger. So I love these kinds of tops. I bought some of these for Genevieve too. They're just really like kind of a waffle design, but really soft. So this is 12 month from the Cat and Jack brand. It looks so cute. And then this, how springy and adorable is this little top? Again, Cat and Jack 12 month. Um, did it come? Yeah, it actually comes with a diaper cover. Um, however, I mean, I'll, she'll probably end up wearing pants with it, but we'll see. One thing I feel like is new. So with Genevieve, I had her in onesies that snap for like the first, I feel like two years of her life. Maybe it wasn't that long. But with Felicity, I'm realizing like all the cuter clothes aren't onesies. And so I'm, I'm way more open to the separate pieces than I was with Genevieve. And I don't really know what that was. I overthink, have you guys figured this out about me? I will overthink absolutely everything in life. I'm getting a handle on it, but man. Anyway, like I said, so that's why you're seeing a lot more like separate pieces for Valentine's Day. We are gonna do the cute little, we actually, it's February 1st that I'm filming this. I know you're seeing it um, a little bit later. We're doing that 14 days of like writing something you love about your kid and sticking it on their door each day leading of February leading up to Valentine's Day. A lot of you guys do that, you recommended it, and I think that is the sweetest thing. So I need to cut out some little hearts today. We're gonna do that, and then on Valentine's Day proper, we will um, give her just, I wanna find like a little basket or something we can use year after year maybe to put these in, but we got her some mini M&Ms, she loves these, and then a little chocolate heart sucker type thing, it's just fun. We got her, this was in the dollar spot. It, honestly, the more I think about it, I'm like, I might give this to Felicity, cause it's like a stick on, well, but it's also got a bath crayon. It's a bath playtime activity with some Mickey characters. I think Genevieve would like it. We'll see, we'll see where that ends up, but got that. I also got her this little cookie she can decorate. We might do this before Valentine's Day. Maybe we'll do it on Valentine's Day, but I like this because she's still a little too, young for like we can make the little valentine's house if you will that you can decorate but it ends up being a, a mostly us just doing it and she doesn't really enjoy it and then she wants to go do something else or just eat it so i'm like okay this is a little easier where she can totally do it and be excited about it you know what i mean and then we also got her a little disney adorable she loves these little surprise figurine things so that's all we got her we might get i mean i might just buy some like reese hearts for us, I don't know, and maybe throw a little bit in there. I also got her her um, Valentine's for school, some Mickey Mouse ones and some suckers to go with them. The one thing I realized as she had her like Valentine's party last year, and so she brought home her little Valentine. She was so excited to look through them. She was the most excited about ones that had stickers or tattoos. So I was like, all right, this year, let's get some sticker ones because I think the age she's at, 
her little classmates would be very into stickers and then suckers are always you know a treat for kids so all right that's everything that was fun i hope you enjoyed um i like i said i i feel like i should always say in these videos and maybe i should have said it earlier but here we are you know my job is I vlog and I do all kinds of stuff, but my job is trying makeup. So I feel like, you know, me buying four shades of a lipstick, that's not normal. That's something that, you know, I do because I share about this kind of stuff. Same goes for clothes. Like, especially since my channel is now not just makeup, it's also like lifestyle-y. I like to be able to recommend things that you could possibly get your hands on that aren't wildly expensive, that are really amazing. And so, you know, me buying these things and trying them, I feel like the amount of clothing I might buy in a video like this is not a normal amount. You know what I mean? I mean, fitting room aside, because again, I wouldn't have bought all of these if I were able to try them on. But I, I think that's important to say in a video like this, because I don't ever want someone to be watching this and feeling like it's normal to go to Target all of the time and spend this much money and get all of these things every few months or whatever. It's not. It's really, it's not. So <laughs> I want to bring that up. I hope that doesn't come across the wrong way, but I think it's important to say because this is my job and I'm very happy to have this job. I, best job in the world. I mean, I just love what I do and the fact that you guys watch my videos is amazing and you comment and you share and you like and subscribe. It, it means so much to me. So thank you so much. I am now starving and I need to go eat. <laughs> I'm like, I might go make like an egg wrap. That is my thing right now. Like I'm so into scrambled eggs with a little bit of cheese in a wrap with some fruit like that just sounds so good and i just heard tyler got home so maybe we'll do that anyway my brain is everywhere and nowhere all at the same time i love you guys i hope you enjoyed um if you want to see target hauls like this more often um they're not always this big of course but um let me know i can share them maybe i'll share them especially if it's a smaller one maybe like in an instagram reel or something in the future too speaking of if you're not following me on instagram it is at it's jessica braun i'd love to see you over there and okay I'll shut up. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.